Hi everybody. Now I want to talk to you about groups. There are seven groups that you're going to be in one of the groups in the class. The reason that we break down into groups is so that you can do your presentation and know you don't do This secret video number is eight. That's eight. Write it down. Do it as a group. I'll tell you more about that when we talk about presentations in another video. Or when you do your interview, your mock interview. And yes, you will do it as a group, but you don't have to do it all in one place because you can all call in separately on either Skype or Collaborate, which is part of Blackboard or whatever we decide to do. But we'll talk more about that in another video. So I wanted you to understand what groups are. So let me go over here and show you where the group list is. Here are the groups. You'll see that group one, sorry, has five people and everybody else has four. That's an uneven number of people. The groups are just made to make things a little bit easier for me to manage. So, group one. Group one, if you look at the schedule, and if you slide down here, it says presentation group number. And you go down here, and on the second week, group one and Group two will be doing a presentation. And same thing, group seven and group six will be doing a group interview. Again, I'll explain how that works later. Don't worry about it right now. Just want you to understand how the groups work. The groups will come into effect in week two, three, and four. So we have to understand who are in the groups and how that will, and I'll explain more about how we'll do the presentations and how we we'll do the group interview. So just hang loose on that part until the next video. But group one, let's say, and these were randomly selected by the computer, let's say that one of the people drops out. Okay, no problem. Then the other four people will do it. Okay, so don't worry about people dropping out of the group or people that are, are not replying to emails and stuff like that. All I need to do is the first person that is listed in the group becomes the group communicator. So in group one, Anna, you're the communicator. What you'll need to do to communicate is send me an email, send me a text, whatever. And for the, the presentation, all you do is make sure everybody gets together and comes up with, with the presentation information. Again, I'll explain that later. For the interview, the, the first person of the group, the communicator for the group, will send me an email and say, the group can meet during these three times during the week. What works for you? And then we'll set up a group meeting and we'll have the interview. That's the only time that we have to really meet together synchronously all at once. But again, you can be in your own computer anywhere in the world, basically and we can still talk. So don't worry about that piece and I'll explain more about it. But there are the groups. Here's how to get to the groups as far as a group list and what the groups are for. They're really basically bunching people up for the presentations, which I'll explain later, and the interviews, which I'll explain more about. Okay, more to come, thanks.